work on my graduate school requirements. Now, some of you may already be thinking about going on after earning your undergraduate degree and continuing your education going into graduate work. That may be to pursue something like uh, physical therapy or maybe your doctorate in uh, MD or maybe physician assistant school uh, or maybe even a master's of science and somewhere something related to exercise science or even a PhD. Now, the question becomes, when do you start looking at uh, graduate programs? Well, this is your first year, and I'll tell you that it's never too early to start. So even as you're going through your undergraduate courses, these are good things to be talking with your faculty about and instructors about and asking them where they did their graduate work, why they chose a program. So trying to, to uh, tease out that information from the people that you're learning from, even this fall or even spring, uh, even in your first year. Now you really should be seriously looking at graduate programs if, you, if this is the track that you're gonna go down. Uh, probably by your second or even third year. And what you want to do is look at the application that you have to submit to these graduate programs. And when you look at the application, you really look at the elements that you need to provide, whether that's GPA, or maybe you need to take your GRE, or maybe you need to do some volunteer work, or maybe even uh, demonstrate some skills that you're learning in the undergrad program in order that your application arises to the top and is selected by whatever grad program that you would be uh, applying for. So really starting by your second or third year is a good way to go. And by your fourth year, you should be applying for graduate programs if this is the track that you're going to pursue. Now, there are times that students like to take time off in between undergraduate and graduate work. And I say time off, that's really not uh, a correct way to describe it. Sometimes uh, students want to uh, work for a bit in the field, gain some experience, and then go back to graduate school. And that's perfectly fine. We have a lot of people that follow that path. And so really the key is when you start a graduate program, you really want to make sure what you're looking to get out of that graduate program. And, and so really uh, you sort of focus much more in on a specific area of study. And so you use this uh, first uh, degree, your undergraduate degree, uh, as a way to explore different areas that you want to uh, specialize in or get a more uh, deeper knowledge of uh, in it via a uh, graduate program. So uh, start early looking at applications so you can start making sure that you can pick up uh, skills to make your uh, application a strong one. But don't also fret in that if you finish your undergraduate degree and you want to work and get some experience, that also can be very valuable because when you start a graduate program, you really want to know what you're looking to get out of the grad program. You don't want that just to be an automatic next step, if you will. You really want to be making a decision uh, to pursue that deeper learning. I hope this helps. And uh, again, welcome to the program.